Hey everyone, welcome to the second episode of Pole Mechanics sponsored by Loop It Pole. You can use Ninja 5 as your discount code if you're purchasing it on the Loop It USA website. Today we're talking about Funny Grip. Funny Grip is this. It's where the pole is on the outside of the elbow and you're wrapping your arm around holding on to the pole in a handshake grip like this. It is very similar to Chinese grip, which is like this, where all the fingers are on one side, but we're talking about this specifically. Now, in funny grip, you're in a really restricted position. It relies on a lot of skin, and the hold is very secure, but because it's secure, and because of the many, like the really intense wrap that's going on, you can't move very much. Like, you're very restricted. The main reason that you're restricted is because you're dealing with internal and external rotation of the shoulder. So, internal rotation and external rotation, it's fairly balanced when it comes to range of motion, but most people are much more uh, strength oriented in internal rotation. External rotation people are generally weak. When we are in external rotation, Especially when we pass into this position above 90 degrees, that's when it gets really weak. Why is that important? This, right here, arm above your head and external rotation, is the number one way you can dislocate your shoulder. So, we obviously don't want to do that, but even without the dislocation, injuries can happen in this position. Now, I'm not saying for the rest of this video, I'm not saying that we should neglect external rotation. But I'm saying for good pull technique, for safety of the shoulder, we're going to stick to where we're strong. So, what that means is, here's my funnel grip. If I do this, if I lean away from the pole, dangerous. That's where my shoulder is not going to do well. That's where it's going to get uh, closer to that dislocation position. Especially if my arm is beside me here, as opposed to here. This is going to be a safer position than out here. Even internally, it's going to be a safer position. So, here's my funny grip. What does that mean? That means almost every single phony grip, invert, dynamic flip, any move, your chest should be facing in towards the pole. See this? Away, towards. Not only should it be faced in, but you should be leaning across the pole because the pole's not going to move if you can't just pick it up and change position. You're going to move your head, your body, over to the opposite side of the pole. Now, this is the most secure position for your funny grip. This is the safest place because it's, relative, it's pretty much here. This is actually the recovery position for most shoulder dislocations and elbow breaks and all that stuff. It's because this is a very safe and controlled position. So, when you're doing funny grip, to do it well, even if you're going to do something dynamic, something very cool, almost all the time you want to stay within this range of motion right here. Very rarely are you going to open up your shoulder. And I say rarely, not that it never happens or that you don't transition through it, but you're weaker there. So you don't want to spend too much time there if, or if you're learning it in particular. So, here, lateral bending, okay? I'm leaning across the pole. I'm keeping my shoulder closer to the pole here. You can see here, my shoulder is close, okay? It is not here. This right here, again, I'm not saying you can't ever do this, I'm not saying you shouldn't ever do it, but just know that your shoulder is in a less stable position when you're in that position. Now, because the pole again is this, and we tend to work in circles, here's something interesting that happens. 
Here's my safe and controlled position. So my shoulder is close to the pole, and I'm in internal rotation, not external. Okay? If I do this, so I'm traveling on this ladder plane away here. Uh oh, I'm now in external rotation. Do you understand the difference? Internal, external, internal, external. The pole can't move with me. I can't stay here for a good shoulder position. So, that is one big reason why, for especially a funny grip meat hook, you want your chest as much over on the side as possible. Not only is it easier to get your butt up, pick up your feet, but it's easier on your shoulder as well. If you are trying to invert, even with two hands, and you're out here, you're not going to be strong. You're not going to be stable, and your shoulder is now more at risk, especially when you start adding this rotation away from the pole. Funny grip can get uh, pretty useful, like you'll see it in uh, quite a few acrobatics, you'll see it in the competition arena a lot. And it's because it is such a stable and secure hold. I love it. It's one of my favorite movements. But so, so, so frequently when I'm teaching it, the most common error I see is the shoulder coming away and then the your shoulder position. However, I told you at the beginning of the video that we're very strong internally, right? Most people are very strong and very weak externally. You can way overdo your internal rotation strength, especially when you apply to the pole and you're adding like pulling, leverage, twisting, things like that. So, in general, most people need to build strength into external rotation. And there are quite a few ways to do that. There's plenty of PTs and things like that who have spoken on the topic. Um, I will be releasing in the future everything from rehab, therapy, treatment, uh, health medicine discussions on my tutorial website, holeninjatutorials.com. I highly recommend that you go over there and you sign up to the mailing list at the very least. There are a bunch of free tutorials available. Pretty much all my free content that I've ever created in, what, is it eight years? Well, eight years of whole are all in one place at that website. So holeninjatutorials.com, go there. I'm going to be writing a bunch of blogs, articles, there'll be some things on health, there's going to be some things about the whole industry, there's going to be things on just good technique, I'm going to interview people, I'm going to be telling stories. <laughs> I'm going to be telling stories about travels and just fun, interesting things that I've run across over the years. And look forward to the next edition of the Whole Mechanics series sponsored by Lilith. Once again, Ninja 5, discount code if you're buying a Lilith.